<laughs> it is brutally cold out there. When we step outside tonight, we should just wait when we walk oh, out the no. door. It's going to be like, whoosh. I'm waiting until chills. June. I know. <laughs> we like to start the car now. There's a good idea. Well, <laughs> let's talk about how cold it's going to be because that's exactly what you're going to want to do tomorrow morning. Get that car started early. Warm it up because we're starting the morning in the 20s, low 20s. That's cold even for winter. This is not mm -hmm. typical for November. This is a cold morning even in the month of January. So. Let's be prepared. Make sure you've got all the hats, the gloves, the coats, and the kids were wearing them as you send them out to the bus stop tomorrow morning. Here's a look at Bethlehem right now. We're going to take you out to the to a live look at Main Street. And if you look right up at the top there where it says Neighborhood Network, you can see the flags are still flying pretty briskly in the breeze there on the Hotel Bethlehem. It is a windy night, and those wind chills are nothing to mess around with. Wind chills are in the teens right now in Philadelphia. So we will be waking up to bitter cold. Take a look at the morning temperatures. Now, this is across the entire eastern half of the country. Bitter wind chills with these cold Canadian winds bringing all that cool air down. Waking up to temperatures in the teens in St. Louis, Little Rock, Columbus, Nashville at 20 degrees. Birmingham, Alabama will wake up to 23 degrees. Little Rock, 19. 25 here in Philadelphia we will wake up to 21. Eventually that temp will drop just a little bit. So it's really the entire eastern half of the country impacted by this cold as that front swept through and ushered in a bitter November blast for Wednesday and even into Thursday. Temperatures tomorrow 20 plus degrees below average. Hundreds of records will be broken tomorrow morning. And again, wind chills in the teens and single digits. Here we go tomorrow morning. And you can see how cold it's going to feel. 3 a.m. It'll feel like one below zero in Mount Pocono. 7, 8 a.m. It feels like the teens in Philadelphia, single digits in the mountains, single digits all across New England. And even in the afternoon, feeling no better than the 20s. Not as cold as some spots off to the north, but well below average for the time of year. So here's what you need when you leave the house. A heavy winter coat, a hat, a scarf, warm gloves, winter boots, the whole nine yards, maybe the wool socks as well. It's just the kind of day you don't want to be outside for too long because those wind chills will be brutal. Then as we head toward the weekend, we're going to be watching the coast. Another front comes through Friday night. Look how cold it is, that dark blue shading. And this new low starts to spin up off the coast of the Carolinas. It's going to bring rain along the southeast coast. Could brush our area, the shore points, on Sunday with a chance for some showers. Very strong northeast winds around the edge of this system. Rough surf and beach erosion, but it looks like it'll head out to see and not tuck in and move up the coast. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge deal for us. Just a gusty east wind and again showers and bitter wind chills, especially for the shore points. And we will tap into some of those northeast winds Sunday just in time for the Eagles game. So basically my point being it's really not going to get much better through the seven day forecast. 34 tomorrow. Thursday is not as windy. Still cold at 44 degrees. Keep in mind, normal high 57. Friday's briefly better. Then it's cold again Saturday. That east wind on Sunday with the chance for showers at the shore. Partly sunny, a little bit better Monday. And it looks like we may try to scramble out of this pattern a bit as we head toward the middle of next week. But every day in that seven-day forecast is below normal. Every day. Mm. Mm -mm. Here we go. 